Carro. Hello my Leo friends, Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's find out what's coming in for you. Money, Career, Finance, March 28th to April 4th. Coming in for you guys. This will also include the new moon on the first, eighth of eight of pentacles. Skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. Someone could be have been in experience as of late that made them go, hey, I might want to do that. Three of Wands, manifesting abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So trust the divine. Trust your intuition. Make those long-term plans and get started. The divine saying you're manifesting something beautiful here. Put in the work. Buckle down. Get it done. I got too many cards. All right. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Three of Wands again. Wow getting a job opportunity or the opportunity to really put your per own personal stamp of approval on something. Asking the divine for clarity, going into hangman mode about it. There could be a nine month stasis period in thinking about this or manifesting it, or you could have just been thinking about it for quite some time. Page of Swords, being very curious, needing to look into the circumstance or situation, not taking things as just as you might think they are, but really doing the work. There's no procrastinating allowed here. The Divine's asking you to get on it. There's fear surrounding money as to whether you can do this, going back to school, creating this new thing for yourself. There's fear surrounding lack, wondering if you'll have the funds and finances to keep on with it. Curiosity about how much a student loan will cost, or, or how, how long it would take you to pay off. Uh, curiosity about how to manifest the way forward. Asking if this is actually my true soul calling. Trust your intuition here. Pisces energy. Look at where Pisces is in your chart. You could very well be listening to tarot card readings. You could be incredibly developing your intuition at a massive rate. You have an intuition, intuitive nudge that something's going on behind the scenes here. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, looking out over the vast expanse, wanting to create something beautiful, putting your hand to work, but there's some sort of concern about what's going on behind your back. I wonder if you're having someone support you. It's like someone's taking notes while you're putting in the work. Taking notes on what you say, taking notes on what you do. There, there's absolute huge intuitive energy here, huge with a high priestess. That's like someone who has a direct line of communication to the divine, wanting to put in the work to do this possibly for work, trying to manifest this new beginning for yourself. Five of Wands, conflict, competition, wondering if you'll have what it takes. There's too much competition out there. I don't know if I can do this. Perhaps there's some sort of argument between two while three other people stand around watching. There could be indecision about what are your passions making the decisions and how you need to manifest them. Inner conflict, you see. There's some sort of somebody who's incredibly intuitive around the whole situation who's, who's almost like a crook's point. For it coming about. I want to say that there's a couple of angry people. But they are going to come around. That's how I feel. They're going to come around. Knight of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Buckling down. Getting the job done. There's definitely a need to stop procrastinating. On what you want to build in your future. If you have fears concerning money. Or fears concerning being left out in the cold by by life circumstances or whichever other people even there's some sort there's cold feet i'm telling you there's cold feet and how to move forward and your mind is what's creating the cold energy lack of trust lack of faith lack of hope and the, but you've got it going on you've got it going on you got the three of ones twice for pete's sake it's beautiful it's beautiful energy but there's just lacking I don't know. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's going to take great strength, overcoming that beast of fear within, stepping into your power, stepping into the rest of your life, hopping over that line of fear and stepping into the beauty that awaits you. Let's get some messages from the divine. What is this hesitation about? Something to do with children? Something to do with, uh, there's a hesitation about if everything is okay, or I don't know what that's about. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Tell me about this left side. Angelic advice for the left side of this situation. L left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing is kind of the energy I'm getting. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. So the divine's got you. The divine's got the circumstance and the situation. They want you to feel safe in who you are and what they're calling you to do. Trust your intuition and move forward from there. Angelic, Archangel Gabriel, wow. <clears throat> you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. You see, high priestess energy putting in the work to doing something. There could be conflict around it, wondering if there's there's too much competition but really buckling down stop procrastinating get on it do the research do whatever you have to do in order to make it come to fruition for yourself it's like the divine is calling you and they're telling you that you're protected and they want you to move look at that the hierophant could have something to do with higher government institution this is a soul calling it's like god has decided there's some sort of foundational thing that you were raised on or that you are soul connected to here that the divine is trying to bring you in concert with. Someone also could be waiting on money or funds from the government and it absolutely will be a wish granted. I got the nine of cups with that. All up in a temporary self-imposed prison. Someone could be waiting for someone to get out of prison as well. Long-term commitment and happiness comes when... The jailbird gets free sort of deal. I wonder if someone's been in a, a different type of metaphorical prison. Take it as it resonates. Tell me about this. You are protected from all types of harm. Look at that. Beautiful energy. Wow. It's like your, your emotional material needs are met. And now you can move forward. Taking that heart and that love and that kindness that is you out into the world in a new way. Communication absolute happiness clarity around your intuitive nudges the divine is asking you to commune the hierophant clarifies the hierophant holy crap you could have two tauruses around you or a taurus that is somehow connected to your spiritual learning there's there's a commitment here of epic proportions some sort of commitment or maybe a marriage commitment Tell me more about the two Hierophants. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. You're very, being very curious yet again. Ingenious ideas. Being very curious. Ideas coming to you on the whim all of a sudden about how to take a commitment to the next level. How to work on what is your soul calling. I wonder if you're... <laughs> yes. I wonder if you're initiating your henchman. Something to do with an air sign child perhaps. Uh... Two people surrounding you or going out. It's like the Hierophant reminds me of someone sitting on a throne and the two people waiting for orders. One has one key, one has the other. Unless they work together, it's never going to happen anyway. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. Tell me about the strength card here. You will have a victory standing in your strength. You will have an absolute victory taming your fears and getting on with the program. There's some sort of definite massive calling. The divine's asking you to start. You're going to start to realize, and I wish granted, how magical you really are. It's something that, you, this thing that you want to do, it's something you can sit there and say, hey, I went through it. I did it. I just wonder, I think what the hangman energy is about, I wonder if something goes wrong and there's challenging information, if I'm actually going to be able to handle that myself. Because you have to come from an incredibly high perspective. Tell me about the three of wands. Moving forward at a very fast pace. Hopping in your vehicle, heading somewhere. The hanged man making a decision. 
This could be something to do with a cancer, manifesting something regarding a cancer. The Page of Swords is the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, being very intuitive, very psychically connected. One foot on land, one foot in the water, feeling very grounded. Five of Pentacles has to do with an ending. Perhaps there's an ending to something happening. Uh, yeah. The release of the fear of lack of money and finance. There's some sort of release happening. There could be a Scorpio who is very prominent in your life and is going to bring something your way. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups based on a celebration. You're sitting there going, took long enough. <laughs> uh, yep, took long enough. Buckle down, get the work done. You will have the celebration. Perhaps you're celebrating the thing that you're able now to buckle down, get the work done. There's some sort of healing going on here too with the Sun card, Ten of Cups, and this in between. Five of Wands. Something to do with children. Uh, childhood belief set, yet again. Uh, connected to children, walking away from, oh, someone's been very conflicted about walking away from having more children, the idea of children. Uh, perhaps there is a bloody battle involving children. It's taking, it's like taking you to the next level of opportunity. Some, perhaps somebody here is a mediator. The magician is the mediator between all of whatever's happening. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, a tower moment coming in. Someone taking notes, standing behind you, like behind your back or behind you, taking notes while you're putting in the work. Writing a new script or writing a story based on the work that you put in. Tell me about the High Priestess. An ending. An ending to an uh, ending of a cycle, absolutely. Using your intuition, an ending to the mental, your your mental body stabbing you in the back. It's like killing you. Your, your thoughts have been absolutely killing you. High priestess energy. Wondering if your thoughts are actually intuition or they're just thoughts. There's an end of the cycle, perhaps, of using your mind in a way that stabs you. And really trusting your intuition as you move forward with this gift of communication. Tell me about the tower. Unable or unwilling to make a decision on how to move forward. There will be a celebration, though. Something in the home. Unable or unwilling to make a decision to move actually creates divine movement and there's a celebration in the home based on it. And someone intuitively knew this. Someone who's, they intuitively knew it. Psychic communication, cancer, the choice to make the decision, the psychic abilities and attunement and the death card, which is all about the ending to fears of money, finance, lack. Because that's which one it's clarifying. Being very curious about how someone's intuition can pick all of this up. There's great, incredible happiness coming to you. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow your insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. This may be very prominent for somebody who has Venus in Leo or Mars in Leo. Okay? Let's get one more message from the divine, from my Leo friends. Rebirth. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past. Accept the positive change that is coming. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. Blessings to you.